on today's episode of Based After Dark. Okay, guys, I'm trying to <laughs> toss something up nice here. Jesus. No, nah, you're shit, dude. You're out. Just kind of it. It's there. fun. Idol, idol. That guy you talked about earlier that had bad ideas and said slurs was that Nine Rain? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Wait, wait. Can we I'm not at liberty to disclose who reached out to me <laughs> saying I'm not slurs. at liberty, bro. You're a politician. <laughs> if we had to kick off Ignoble or T Papa, who would you pick? And we're currently at 19 votes. Uh, T Papa has six. Ignoble, you have 13. <laughs> Landslide, Those bro. six motherfuckers, That's bro. I kind of respect them a little bit, dude. Based after dark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Based After Dark Season 2, Episode 42. That is the answer to real life. My name is Ignoble Solid with Mr. Prison Joe, Mr. T Papa Slice, Mr. Tasty Life, and the one, the only, the six foot four beautiful man, Mr. Idol. Yeah, you Hello, are six glad foot to be four, here. aren't you? I'm six not. foot five. But let's say I am. Six, he's like, like wait, how tall are you? He's five nine. You're six five? He's, no, he's like four and a half million feet tall. Anyway, yeah. thank you to the patrons, by the way. Oh, 227. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. You fucking idiot, Ignoble. <laughs> he doesn't have a job. He doesn't <laughs> care about you guys, okay? Or he, he does yeah, have a job. True. He doesn't care about you, you no, guys. No, the reason like I did do. not I thank I any know. of you patrons, because I hate every one of you, I saw Mr. St. Tits posted a poll on our Spotify recently. A server muted him? <laughs> well, his, his recording will still. No, his up, recording though. still is gonna work. Dude. Prison Damn, Joe dude. is I'm the worst member of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah instant American for Prison Joe, dude. I didn't get voted off. <laughs> the viewers are voting for me to get kicked off the cast, and honestly, if that happens, I never want to see you guys again. Each and every one of you patrons, I'm taking all that patron money. I'm flying to Aruba, and I'm gonna get myself a three dollar hand job. And there's nothing you can do about it. They have that there. I mean, no at that point, can we, can we buy two? It. Can we buy? Can we buy more than one hand job with only three bucks? No, you guys aren't both leaving. You're not both going to Aruba with our patron money. Dude. You wouldn't make this about you, bro. We have a guest. We haven't spoke to this guy in a long <laughs> right, time, yeah. and you're on here, you know, uh, talking about bro, you. Before we Everything's die, about yeah, you. Hold on. Guy, are we done? Can are we done with the intro? Do we have to say anything else? <laughs> So, dude, once I again, guess. we are starting by. We had fucking huckleberries last week, and now it's ignoble's no, feelings this no, week, dude. Th this is no. Th I we got it. We got to address something else. We got we got we got some things we got to address. Are we done with the intro? Go on. Right, okay, go for it. Say it. So, our first season, we had guests. All right. In our second season, we said we're not going to have guests. Why the fuck is Idol here, bro? Like, I love Idol, but who is this guy? Bro, he's a famous World of Warcraft player. You don't watch Jimmy his videos? videos? We're talking we to idiots. Jimmy Light, bro. We couldn't get Jimmy, so we got Jimmy Light. It's Jimmy <laughs> Light, baby. I, dude, unpopular opinion. I, I, you know, people talk shit about Idol all the time. All of the internet. I like the guy. I like him more hey, well, than you Jimmy. Know, okay, I'm so going to say it right now. Comparison, you know, remember, if you remember, there's also, they call oh, him. Oh, we don't, they call, we they don't call him, say that name. He, they called him. We don't say that name. And he turned out to be better. So you know, there's there's room. That's what I'm saying. So that's, that's a really, is on the fucking, that's a really he fucking has potential to be <laughs> okay. potential predator. I don't. I'd like to <laughs> apologize on behalf of the rest of us for that comparison, bro. I am really so yeah, sorry. That, that is, is, is not cool, dude. The, the, the yeah. server mute was misplaced in the beginning of the, in the call. <laughs> Listen, I'm filming for you guys last week, you know? You almost got us canceled. Oh. You know, I got I to film for you guys. This week, you guys oh, are more tame, I think. We're Celsius on the brink right trying to now, fucking dude. nail us down into the ground. Thank you. <sighs> Idol, welcome to the cast, man. You were on quite a while ago, weren't you? On our first season? I was on way back twice. in season one. Twice. No, twice. Only yeah. once. We twice. No, twice. I missed. I know this twice. I know that. Dude, we were really desperate, huh? Jimmy really said no that many yeah. times. <laughs> you were you were scraping the bottom of the barrel two times. Dude, I Jimmy don't. Why, are you, guys, why are you guys making him? Dude, fuck Jimmy. I like Idol more, dude. Like what the no, hell? no, no. Idol, honestly, I'm just genuinely, at guess in general. Like I don't want to talk to Idol right now. I like him, dude. I like his videos. <laughs> I don't know. You make fantastic videos, such as the rise of classic MMORPGs. Why are you reading it like that? Like he was a prom. <laughs> in, insert he Idol. Also, he was like, let me take off my. Trying glasses. to make PvP happen, <laughs> dude. Stellar examples. Of, I actually, I do. I like your videos a lot. You're actually a very good video maker, dude. RuneScape doesn't deserve you. You gotta stick to World of Warcraft. So yeah, people keep telling me like I left RuneScape. I talk about RuneScape. I think in like every video. Still. Every video. Like, it yeah, comes up never leave. every you single never leave video. RuneScape. You never. It's leave like, it. it's like I just I got out of the kiddie pool, but I kept one foot in because. 
I get hot. Because you like kids. Yeah. We we get yeah. it. Ignore no. kids. Jesus Christ, dude. I was never coming back on, bro. <laughs> 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 That's two rotten comparisons so far. So, so uh dude, is the uh, intro done? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how's the how's the weather where you're We've at? Got some good you things, that right? yeah. you don't you don't Oh my gosh. You're not a predator. Oh. You're not you know, this is good. Like we're finding out things about you. I think it's going dude, good I so stay, far. I stay I I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber. I'm staying away from that. I'm <laughs> Listen, we're yeah, we're sticking with MMOs. That? That's such you a could thing, be a bro. Minecraft YouTuber Minecraft? though, like respectfully, you would be good at it probably. No, like, you'd you... be like an Etho type dude. You'd be like an Etho Minecraft YouTuber. My, uh, one of the good my ones. My second YouTube channel I ever made was a Minecraft YouTube channel. Don't tell anyone. It was uh back okay, when I was back when I was a little publicly. kid. So I was the victim. How old are you now? Uh, twenty nine. Wow. Big dog, firm yeah. handshakes. Who yeah. else is 29 here? We have another 29 year old? I turned 29 in one month. Oh, yeah, we're going to be How in Orlando. I don't. I don't feel anything. Birthdays never feel like anything to me. I'm oh, like, yeah, because oh, when, cool, I turned 28, when I turned 28, that was the first time I sat there, and I, we were at my birthday dinner, and I was just sad. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> what? I was what? like, dang, I am getting older. Like, 28 dude. hit hard. And then I was like, dude, when I turned 29, like, fuck. Like, are you Bro, just are you you. copiuming or like, do you actually, no, no, no. You're, just, you're actually chilling? You're, my whole life, dude, was an upward trajectory to 22. And then from 22 to 25, just a fucking steep drop. And then 25 and up, it's only getting better. I've gotten better right. every year. What about the fireball stage? <clears throat> or was it for loco stage? Do you think that was Look, part of the building process? Yeah, no, it was a learning experience. And above all else, uh, paid my rent for like three months for one week of drinking four locos. So that's. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. That's a good return. Yeah. I don't, how did 29 hit you? I would turn into alcoholic for less money. How did 29 hit me? Uh, yeah. Pretty good. I got like Doggy the best style. sushi in the world. It was amazing. I loved it. I had an existential crisis on one birthday and it was when I turned 23. That's mm -hmm. it. I don't know why it was 23. 23? It just, it, it, I, I had the 23rd birthday and I was like, Ugh. and then every birthday after that's been easy. But also I watched my brother turn 30 and he's only three years older than me. So like, <clears throat> I was like, ah, I got used to being like to the idea of being thirty, just watching him. So I was like, it just doesn't bother me. There's nothing wrong with being thirty. I'm just saying, like, just hypothetically, not speaking from personal experience, that's fucking crazy. That's you're yeah. thirty. I have, you have to be depressed. Thirty. I am thirty. Yeah. I forget that <laughs> he's older than us. Do you have depression? Do you have depression? God. Uh, no, I think that's just chronic. I've had that for like last, you know, 10 plus years. What, did point, you, like did you have a year? So, okay. So I guess that makes you the oldest. Did you have a year when you were like, uh, fuck dude, I'm sad. Uh, probably like what around an idol said like 22, 23. Cause it's just like, you know, you finish up college and you're just like, holy fuck. The, it's dude, just, just the real world, world left for me. Like there's no, yeah. more, there's no more like structure of like how you meet people or like mm -hmm. how you have free time. It's just like it, it, you it either have a job me. or you're unemployed and either way you're depressed. <laughs> so true. Yeah. It, that's it, it, like just, you... it just hit me that like, I can't like, you know, walk down the hall to where like my closest friends lives and walk in with a case and be like, yo, it's Tuesday, 10 AM. You guys want to skip class and drink and smoke instead. <clears throat> that just doesn't happen anymore. Cause like now I do that. It might be like a fucking 40 year old lady living down the street from me. She'd be like, what, who are you? Get off my lawn. You know, that's okay. She's 40. <laughs> is this theoretical woman is 40. <laughs> Dude, you're no, so close to 40 and you're acting like you're <laughs> geriatric. <laughs> yeah. That's the same that's, way we acted that's... when I was 20. I looked at 30. I was like, those Dude, kids are fucking dead. Somebody messaged me those the other guys day and said, I hate when you guys let Ignoble talk. That's what they said. <laughs> I see why. Dude, yeah. The the <laughs> amount of time like between you and 40, 10 years, that's older than like the women you're attracted to. Like Just to put that into perspective. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like That's... <laughs> how many pedophile jokes are we at now and how long have we three. been recording three three <sighs> okay no but uh, to bring it back around a little bit though i feel like everybody has that dip off at like 22 to 23 because you know you're out of college like the structure is gone and then you're just like what the fuck is the rest of my life like what do i do you've and never done you it become before. a twitch streamer and they and it's legit. <laughs> by accident yeah. yeah yeah sorry sorry kick stream i guess I be inclusive are you actually whoa, whoa, depressed whoa. at 28 actually 
don't know. I, I don't feel like I don't know. Shut this up. Is, Depression isn't real. Fucking. But <laughs> it's invented by the liberals to sell you That's gay I'm pills, saying. dude. That's what, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what they do, dude. You know. <laughs> Finally, somebody understands. I, I wish she would make like a right wing anti lib TikTok and just spew information like that and see how many people like, get on board. Me or Tasty? It's, it's, I feel like it'd be it's, funnier if Tasty did it. I think it'd be funny. It's yeah, funny as yeah. a bit, like once in a while, as long as you make like your real views known. But if you'd like step into the deep end too far, too long. <laughs> You be that's you. You become that. Dude, dude. I, if no one, I can, swear if that's no what one can tell, that's what if no one Jones. can tell that you're joking, you're not joking. <laughs> like that's what that I is. I feel like I feel like there's a time. Well, Alex Jones has always been crazy, but there's that's definitely a time where Alex he stepped. Jones. He, that's where he <laughs> yeah. at, a, at a certain point, like he definitely stepped. He leaped and like went way further past what he started as. Like not even close, dude. Like it just became a, like a different entity of just fucking insanity. As how long have you been following the Alex Jones Many arc? Others. Yeah. This is uh, this is a very revealing. Ever since uh, he uh, came on Joe Rogan the first time, where he was actually fucking hilarious, and then like, is that for that dude? That dude spiraled way, way, way off. I mean, he was always crazy, but like, I'm talking like, you know, where he's getting fucking sued for millions of dollars for shit he's saying. That bad. Yeah, didn't he get sued for like forty million dollars? Isn't that what he owes or something like that? A lot. It's a lot, Jesus yeah. Christ. I don't know exactly how much, but uh, enough that to where he probably won't pay it off ever. <laughs> probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's like that's not his problem anymore. Like that's the people who he owes money to. Like that's that's their problem. <laughs> really, really at that point. <laughs> One point five billion dollars. Is this real? Holy what? fuck. Yeah. yeah, I knew it was a billion. No, there's a, how much money? Why are you asking me about what I know? How do you know the bro. Alex Jones lawsuit, Tyler? Remember, is that how you knew that? Is that? I just, I just remember seeing that headline. I was like, oh shit, that's a lot of money, dude. <laughs> like, like, I didn't know you get sued for that much just for saying something. I gotta be careful on Twitch, dude. I'll be saying shit sometimes. <clears throat> but yeah, he owes a billion. Good for him, man. Yeah, I don't, really. How has the uh, the content change been for you? Because I believe last time you did come on air, you were still primarily making RuneScape content. Yeah, and, it, uh, it was a while ago. No, yeah. yeah, you definitely... I'm pretty sure you hadn't done any MMO, like the stuff you're doing now. When you came on before, you were still just... It was all RuneScape. And then, of course, the plug-in videos, which bang. Uh, and then when did you when did you switch? Like, when did you, like, make the decision to start making different content? It wasn't really like for me, it wasn't just like, hey, I'm not going to make RuneScape videos anymore. I just had this idea to, I was burnt out on RuneScape at the time. And I was just like, I'm going to try out World of Warcraft. But I've tried, like, I played MMOs my whole life exclusively. Like, I never played any other game other than MMOs. And then I was playing World of Warcraft. And I was like, I got thoughts. So I just decided I was going to make a video about it because uh, I had a sponsor deadline, which is how all great ideas come to fruition and i just made a video about it and people liked it and then i made another video about it and people were like yeah cool and then i made a lot more videos about it and that's just kind of how it happened it wasn't so much like a decision of like fuck runescape i'm making mmo videos now it just kind of happened how many how many videos have you made now like how far are you in um i usually make one or two a month so i've probably made like I think probably 10 to 15 MMO videos now. And they it, it's fun to not be just limited to what I can do in RuneScape, especially when you're someone like me who's not particularly good at the game and doesn't want to be a snowflake Iron Man. I just can't do it. I, I had a phase where I tried it and it didn't work. So just having like, like I have a video coming up now where I am trying every single mobile MMORPG I can find. And it's just like, that's a, ah. that's just a cute little idea I had. And I was like, oh, I can that's do a really that. That's a really good idea. It's a wider lane, and they suck. They're bad. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, they, but they're varying degrees of bad. Like, shout out Jagex for actually making like a half decent mobile client that I still don't want to touch. But like, it's it's good. I'm glad it's out there. Uh, but it's just been fun to have like a bit of a wider lane while still being like in a niche. Like, so many people still watch me and know me for the plugin videos. They just watch my new videos because like, it's not that different, really. Like it's it's a step over, not really like a complete abandonment. Is um, World oh, of sorry. Warcraft better than RuneScape? That's a big question. Answer the time old question. Dude, are dying. Sorry, 
What was that? What the fuck? What I opened that? up. I wanted Dude. to pull up a video of idols. Are you being and started? Are you being unprofessional? Yeah. 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 Being yeah. I, I recognized. I recognized my voice instantly. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, on your YouTube. I thought page this right was now. a bit, bro. <laughs> we were all studying your video before we came on. We were all watching it together. No, bro. This is what Tee Papa does. When Tee Papa's not talking, Instagram. he's just watching YouTube She's videos, bro. Me. Instead of well, 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 I'm not just it's watching YouTube videos. videos. All I'm bit. usually I have Valorant on that TV. I have Legend of the Mushroom on my phone, and I also oh, have God. RuneScape on my monitor. You okay? can't even say that if it's not an ad, bro. It's not. Don't stop saying that unless it's an ad. Stop. Dude, Legend of Mushroom is a good game. You should check that one out too, Idol. <laughs> I hate this guy, dude. <laughs> uh, about World of Warcraft, it's a completely different game. I think RuneScape for me is better, but I played it so much goddamn more. The real thing RuneScape has going for it is, pe I only heard people talk shit about Blizzard, but now that I actually like play World of Warcraft actively, holy shit, that is a terrible company. That is just oh, like, Blizzard blow. Forget the sexual assault, which is a big thing to say. Why do you want to forget sexual assault, huh? What's wrong? Why, why do you want to do that? Because <laughs> you hate women. Shut the fuck up, Ignoa. <laughs> Damn. This is our guest, okay. dude. This is. Oh, right. oh, Wait, I'm hold just on. Actually, the fuck though, out of this, dude. I made it. In, I made a joke about this in a video, and I want to know how common knowledge this is. I made a very brief joke about breast milk and Blizzard. Do you guys know what that means? If I just oh, put those two yeah. things out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, like Dairy Queen. Please. I do. Just Please kidding. explain. So, it's Please. good. What, when Please Blizzard explain the correlation. was getting the shitstorm, uh, the Activision Blizzard was getting the shitstorm of like upper management sexually assaulting their employees or like asking for sexual favors in return for promotions or to get their designs through. Another thing came out that was less talked about apparently, where a couple of women who were n new mothers, so they would pump breast milk at work and store it in the fridge to bring home later, um, reported that their breast milk would go missing from the fridge in the kitchen that it would just not be there anymore and so we don't know who we don't know who but it's kind of a fan theory that ceo bobby kotick <laughs> drank drank his employees breast milk but apparently not enough people know about that because yeah it's creepy it's also objectively funny and more people should talk about <laughs> bro that's some it. Yeah. Watched, shit. i've Have worked in corporate america and yeah, that's, some Homelander. That's just a fucking benefit Homelander vibe, being bro. a C-suite executive. Let me tell you, that's just one of the benefits. You know? Dude, you go onto the you go onto the LinkedIn for like a job posting. It says that like fully stocked fridges, including breast milk, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. dude, you're such a corporate badass. You can go into the break room and just start sipping on some fucking breast milk, dude. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. But also, Blizzard from a game development perspective just kind of sucks, which is which is sad to see because like. Even the things they add to the game that's not just like microtransactions have been Dude. like bad. They've been not good. So like I look at Jagex and I'm like, you guys get a lot that's of shit. That's saying, dude. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a fool of Jagex dick rider. They definitely make mistakes, but they get a lot more shit than they should about a lot of things, probably. Like a variety of things. Yeah. Well, most of the things that like the J mods get shit for is like stuff they have really no control over. I'm yeah, sure that as well. Part. That's very true. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking shit to the J mods until I get a RuneFest ticket. So. Fix your game, Valid. fix your shit, get me a Good ticket. Luck, bro, this guy doesn't even make videos anymore and he's going to be there. Like, <laughs> sit the fuck down, buddy. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, he got a ticket? Oh, oh fuck me, dude. They gave Idol a ticket, bro? Oof. Oh, like, that sucks. Ooh. That's uh, fucked up. Wait, actually, though, one thing that does concern me about JMods is like, I used to be like, you know what's great? How connected they are to the community. Sometimes I just go like check some guy who's talking like a lunatic dropping slurs on twitter and i'm like and i just see like followed by these j mods and i'm like uh oh why why are you following him like this is this is the community you're connecting with and it's like i'm gonna say something else that's controversial i'll forgive the slurs but their ideas are shit so why are you following them <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a daily true. battle dude i want to i want to follow I Jeb like all the time just so i don't dude. miss anything but i don't want to be i feel like that happens you know i feel mean? like sometimes you do follow somebody maybe like a long time ago and then yeah like because like people definitely go through the different twitter arcs of like saying shit it's like i mean i've seen yeah. it just in the time i've been around like just people who like were kind of quiet on twitter and then all of a sudden they're just saying crazy shit there's a couple right now i'm not gonna name any <laughs> name any names of some people who've definitely been saying some wild shit on twitter who are content creators as well some of them like and that i followed before and now i'm like wow damn like i don't probably agree with that but you know you're just already following them and it's like do you take the time out of your day to unfollow them it's gotta be probably something pretty bad they post out if you're gonna take the time to do that 
Yeah, yeah. I, that's yes. true. I have some people I followed a long time ago that I just haven't bothered to unfollow because I had just the takes have either been just like not shitty enough or not frequent yeah. enough. Bro, you guys, like, dude, I'm on that mute function all the time. One person says one dumb thing that I never want to see again. I'm like, well, I'm never going to hear from you again. And I just mute them, bro. Like, it's so nice. You guys, you guys don't that's do that? You ain't muting everybody? Call, dude. I've got, I, 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 I have a few people one. muted. I've got a few people muted, but not that yeah. many. You guys remember I, uh, when McCune got canceled like a, a while back? Which one oh, time? <laughs> like the, the first like the first big canceling. I remember right when it came out, I had McCune on my friends list because uh, Torvesta borrowed his account for like uh, Gellinor Games season three, and it was the day the video came out. And for some reason, he kept logging in and out of RuneScape. And so it kept popping up on my screen. And I had, like, four people, like, call me a bigot for having McCune <laughs> on my friends list. And I just, I didn't even, I didn't read the message. I didn't acknowledge him. I just opened it up and deleted McCune in, like, the middle of a fucking, <laughs> like, Tob run or something. And I just never said That's it, a good know? Patreon topic. We should talk about the video he put out recently. That's a good Patreon topic to discuss today. Wait, for he sure. put a video? He put out a video making threats about content creators at RuneFest. That would be a good Patreon topic to cover. Community really really threats. We can watch that. But hey, we'll cover it on the Patreon today. I think that's a good thing to discuss. We can really Jesus throw some Christ. things out there. Well, that for sounds sure. fun. Yeah. yeah really I can't RuneScape wait to talk there. about that. <laughs> love, love the RuneScapers, man. You made people unsubscribe from our Patreon. You're like, damn, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm trying to toss something up nice here. Jesus. No, nah, you're shit, dude. You're out. Just kind of it. It's today. fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Also on Patreon today, Prison Joe will be uh, releasing a list of people he's threatening for RuneFest. So, <laughs> tune in there's a one. couple. <laughs> yeah. There's a few. And all three of you are going to be on it soon, bro. That's fine. Three idols going to RuneFest? Oh, no. Ignoble's not going to RuneFest. Yeah, sit the fuck down, idiot. That's fucked up, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm still sure. trying. Like, I still don't know. Like, what they do. Are they going to release more tickets? Or am I going to have to like literally sit I know on the outside trying. and watch all my friends go in? Like, it's they're not trying to like, win tickets. They're trying to like get tickets back from people. I think right now, because like, the capacity is the capacity, and I don't know how you get tickets back from people. I don't know right? like what the system is. They there. should just like choose people in. that they don't like or are maybe kind of ugly or something, and just. Take I think ugly people first lose their tickets. I think <laughs> we all send in a picture. Ugly people lose about, their tickets first. What about ugly but content creator? No, oh, that's well, fine. No. Free if you're a content creator, okay. you're automatically pretty. We're, we're free about? marketing for their game. Dude. Yeah. We're free marketing. Yeah. Clout, clout, you know? Clout wins every time. Yeah, I don't think... In terms of tickets, dude, everyone's fucked. If you don't got one, you're probably not going to get one. That's just how it's going to be. You know? That's just... That's a, you know, sad, sad reality. Um... All right, but I don't. I have a question for you. When I look, I'm gonna. I, 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 you might be the only YouTuber that I've watched all of your videos because Sater puts out too much shit. I watch a lot of Sater shit, but he does it. It's too much. I can't watch all the Sater shit. I can watch all your shit. And you have had right. I didn't watch you when you're on Twitch. I watched you went to YouTube. So you had your Twitch audience. You had your RuneScape YouTube audience, and now you have your greater. You're the president of MMORPG audience. Which audience is the worst one? Like, which one do you hate the most of those three audiences, Ooh. and why? So, I don't know if you can elaborate on. So, I was like, I was like small on Twitch. Like the peak I ever got to was like 70 average. So I had a like tight knit community that I really, really loved, and they were toxic as shit to me. But like, I, that's how I wanted it. You know, I'm a little sadistic like that. <laughs> The RuneScape comments were the worst by far. Just like people in the RuneScape community, and this is true for like any diehard community, um, they they just get angry about everything, man. It doesn't matter if they agree with you. They'll get pissed. If you state an opinion, they're like, fuck you. That's wrong. I liked the video, by the way. And I'm like, all right, thanks. That's weird. <laughs> uh, and so I think when you just, because it's a like a wider niche I'm applying, like I'm talking to here, there's like, fewer of like the diehards that come in and are like fuck you uh so for me the runescape audience was just like just slightly more toxic just just slightly more and like only because i didn't get the toxicity i was like you agree with me why are you angry yeah have you That's ever read behemoth comments dude i used to like back when <laughs> back when 
Back when it was just that Australian guy, I would just go on stream and just like uh, where's read some Behemoth? Of the comments. Where's Behe? Where is he? <laughs> That's every other comment still, dude. We got one today. We get, we yeah, got we get a couple of those every week today, for sure. Dude. Still, and he still comes on twice a week. He's still here yeah. for like a big portion of time. Do you think those people just have like short-term memory loss? So, like every like every like other video, they're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Whoa. With the brain cells functioning, that's definitely a possibility for sure. Uh, dude, dude, I my favorite thing back when B he was like not just getting started, but when he was like really ramping up still. Every time there was a woman on the oh the comments were <laughs> oh, great. Like every that. single Don't time there was worry. a woman. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah. Here's the thing no, I was dude, gonna say is, changed. dude. It, you, it hasn't changed. There's still bad comments on Behemoth, of course, but it, there is less. There used to be a lot more. Like what you're talking about, especially during that period where he was really ramping up and really starting to pump out the videos. Dude, there was insane. <laughs> there was a lot more insane comments on the videos than there are now. Now there's a lot yeah. of where's Behe. Of course, you got the, the incel here and there with the, you know, with XYZ woman's on there. But there's a lot of it's like, it's definitely toned down, but it used to be worried. Cause I know exactly what you're talking about. Cause like we'd all go on there every week to see if we got on there. Especially if we had a clip on there, see what people were saying. And yeah, there'd be some <laughs> insane show. You're like, well, you're like, well, at least they're not talking about me. That's literally every time when I was well, they're not talking about me at least, I guess. It's fucking, it was pretty bad for sure. I will say a lot of, I feel like the woman hate on the Behe comments has been redirected to VTuber hate, which I love because nine rain, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I feel don't you wish he was here today, Idol? He, he couldn't make it. I don't. I think he was Wait, busy. What's, what was his excuse today? Did, I, I don't think he had one. He just didn't say anything. But that's you know, that's like a. It's like we get we get we usually get like an excuse or two, and then there's a week where he just we get nothing. I think. Say, did you have anything on this? You are the uh, producer manager. Uh, no, he has not sent me anything. I think last week he was sick, but yeah, he's gone on radio silence. Should we week. punish him, Idol? What do you think? Do you have any ideas for us? Yeah. Uh, so. He's already a VTuber, so feels like punishment. Already. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I think the worst part, actually, like, listen, VTubers, you guys are cool. I assume I've ever talked to one. He's a VTuber with a RuneScape avatar. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty Ooh. rough, dude. A it's RuneScape like, avatar that vaguely looks like him, bro. Just turn on the camera, dude. What the fuck are you yeah. doing? Saint can you throw that up for us real quick so the audience can see a uh, uh, Nine Rain VTuber avatar? He's right above Dude, me right time, now. It's just terrible. One of the first times I ever interacted with him was on his stream. And I was just like, I was like, hey, dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, I was I was like, is this a bit? And then he just kept doing it. And I'm like, I don't know if this is a bit. And then the first time. Well, we well, well, it's together. good to see you, man. How, how are you doing? This is a fucking. So it's, dude, they're so expressive, too. It's so weird. It's just like, just like, uh, is that idle? <laughs> no way! It's 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 idle. Uh, just like it's so that is weird. So true. It's just the shoulders. <laughs> All the movement is just moving where your shoulders are. But the first time we ever looking at. Go, go ahead. Go I was ahead. just gonna say the first time I was ever in a DM with him, he added the his editor and also the person who made him that VTuber thing, and he's like, "Hey, he's gonna make you one," and I was like, "He is? Why? I don't want one." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, well, uh, while you're here, you can say whatever you want about him because he's not going to watch this. That's the best part. No, that's, oh, not really, that's uh, true. Yeah, well, guess what? Uh, he's a really nice dude. He stayed at my house for a little bit over the summer. It was great. I got to meet his fiance, and they were lovely, and it was a, it was a great time. Um, but now also, say what you really he's feel. He's a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's Here's a bitch. Thank you. Just Thank say you. what you want to say. Just say, Just say you know, it, let's hear something about Nine Rain. Give us something juicy, you know? Yeah. I know technically Nine Rain is like, he is a VTuber and he signed like the kick deal for streaming and everything. Have you guys seen him go live? Is he, is he gone live yet? <laughs> Oh. We can take a look at that. I think we can. Well, there's, there's I saw him bars. stream. I saw him stream like the first day he signed with Kick. I don't think he streamed since, dude. I, Bro, don't. I love how we just just we just flame Nine Rain and probably all of his insecurities for five minutes. Bro, like, he why didn't did he... give us an excuse this week. He deserves and, and this. Then, and then we just go. Why did he no call no show? Like what? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, no. We were not. We were not flaming him before, bro. We were being nice <laughs> and professional and cordial. Those times are over, man, okay? He's getting shit every time he doesn't give us an excuse. Because I like the excuses, because they're usually really cool excuses that are fucking insane. But yeah, they're not nice to, to us. 
were only mean to him behind his back. We would never. <laughs> that's that's true. Exactly. Exactly. Shit, I yeah. It's because he's too short. That's called respect. <laughs> he's too that's short. That's called respect. Yeah. See, what the I, hell? I, I, like, he's not even that short. <laughs> bro, bro, if he showed up with his little VTuber huh. anime guy, I might say some shit, dude. I, that's not to his face, but you know, I might. If it's the VTuber, I might say some <laughs> stuff. Up in the VTuber. I think you can take him. Yeah, I will in. say there's some, have a there's some really cool things about him. No, okay, I, mean, so... I, I, I do like one really big aspect about him. I've started playing mean? a lot more League of Legends with him, and I will say his arsenal of racial slurs is unbeaten, dude. It's amazing. Oh they are so, so good. I am jealous of that, man. I Could you give us some examples of those, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm saving what's those your, for like, the Patreon, what's your top so be three? there. You know, be that's there your vapor. I'm trying to really... throw up a good bait. That's what you got. You raised your favorite. I will racial reveal slurs. nine reigns. I hate Joe's going to be threatening slurs. people. I hate Noble's you. Say slurs. It's yes, going to be a really I'm, good Patreon. I'm going to be podcast. threatening Ignoble the entire Patreon podcast, and Idol's going to mediate. <laughs> you guys want to watch that? Sign up for the Patreon. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Idol, Idol, that guy you talked about earlier that had bad ideas and said slurs was that nine rain? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Wait, wait. Can we I'm not at liberty to disclose who reached out to me <laughs> saying I'm not slurs. at liberty, bro. You're a politician. <laughs> <laughs> I signed an NDA when he visited MMOs, my house. Dude. Do you not watch the, he's literally the president. He is a politician. I am. Okay, and, so. Uh, yeah, sorry, just sorry. thank you to my voters and the people who uh, give me. I was gonna say behind the back donations, but that sounds sexual. <laughs> back shots oh, for bro. president. It could be president back shots. Okay, bro, given the president back shots, that's crazy. Okay, let me let's go back to this. Okay, we're asking how much nine rain. He's like, nine rain, you know, like myself and Mr. Taste Love here, signed to stream on kick. In the past, for the past period, uh, our working period in the factory, he has streamed six hours and thirty six minutes. Entire last. <laughs> Like bro, he's got a fiance. He's got a life, dude. Let him live, bro. Let Aaron be. Just let yeah, him bro. be. He is not <laughs> getting renewed, bro. They are not renewing his contract. I hope that put some some groceries on the table. In six hours, bro. A couple oh, of trips to, to Sprouts, hopefully. <laughs> Jesus like half a trip to Sprouts, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That's like. That covers nothing at Sprouts, bro. That's why we go to Food Lion and Harvey Nation. Here. For not the Food Lion, dude. Holy. You been to a Food dude. Lion, bro? How'd you make it out? I... Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> the Food Lion is insane. I, I know around... it is, dude. How'd they let you in there? Bro, I look curious. around the parking lot. I see, like, drug deals going on in one corner. Me trying to, like, put my shopping cart away. And some dude looks at me like, hey, man, you want a bag? I'm just like, hey, so I got to go home. I got My mom's calling me. I, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Yeah, food oh, line gets dude. a little sketchy. Six and a half hours, though, you know? It got, at least it's a half, you know? Six and a half, like, for 30 minutes. Like I So you guys have been on kick now for, what, in a month? Two months? Two months. How long month We're closing two on two months. months. That's going to be two months here soon, Oh, dude. yeah, wow. Two months. Are Holy you guys shit. at liberty to discuss how long your first contract is and if, like, renewal? We can say that, can we? We can say how long it is, I don't. Right? I don't know. It's four months. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. <laughs> but I know. We'll just bleep it's that been, out. That's fine. Let's it's just been it. leaked Thank like a touch. bunch of times. But yeah, ever, so yeah. everyone, when we first signed, was talking about like not the like dirty specifics of the contract, but like the general structure of it. And then we got a ping in the the Discord for all the kick streamers. And they're they're like, please do not discuss like elements of your contract. This is all under NDA, and you are not yeah. at liberty to share. Here's these the thing, things. though, that's their fault. Because I asked them, I was like, because before I signed, one of my questions was like, can I be transparent in my community and like at least tell them the structure and kind of give more reason of why I'm like, you know, to add more to why I'm doing this, why I think I'm doing what's best for me. And they're like, yeah, sure. And then yeah, like yeah, we're all fucking blabbering about it. And then we get that ping one day. I'm like, what the fuck, man. <laughs> so we can yeah, talk about no, that. Like, not read your contract. <laughs> they can say whatever the fuck they want, but you're the one who signed the contract that says. That I can't yeah. read, game. dude. I don't fucking. I didn't. You know that. what? Yeah, never I mind. Know, I forgot that. that. Like yeah, that. I mean, that's why. Uh, so that's why they're getting guys, paid too. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Do you guys see yourselves coming back to Twitch and or and or staying at Kick? At this point, if if I get offered a resign, I would take it. I would definitely take it. We both just got gifted a hundred subs yesterday by somebody who works for Kick, so we're 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 leaning towards resigning. I think. Yeah, but he does that every <laughs> month, dude. That's our monthly stimulus package. So like, and hundred you know, Kick subs is the math actually. That's like five hundred Twitch subs. Or yeah, five hundred. Sorry, I was a little five hundred Twitch much. subs, dude. At least five hundred yeah. Twitch subs. So, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a little too early. Like honest answer, I think it's a, maybe a smidge early to tell. I feel like. At the end of next month, I'll have more of a clear answer for that. But I, right now, I'm leaning towards yes. 
especially if they add the features they say they're going to add um to actually like get closer to that competitive gap as far as ui interface goes with twitch is uh, if they continue yeah, to close in on that that's a big thing that's, a that's big my big thing. thing that's my biggest thing because my community's there all people who it's kind of nice too because like the people who did come over are the people who i actually want to be there like actually so mm -hmm. like that's another positive thing and um i mean yeah for the most part like actually like, no bullshit like most of the people like most of my community actually came over i'm a pretty tiny community but most of them actually that's came the over they're all there that's the question i was there. gonna follow yeah. up with like how, how have your communities changed if at all you know because some people didn't real were like no fuck kick i ain't going like yeah. i'm staying on twitch they're also pretty similar ahead, honestly well, i was gonna say they're pretty similar like pj said like a lot of the people that i wanted to come over did come over and the people that like actively made the choice are the ones that are like chatting and like making the stream you know fun for the most part yeah there's just a lot less like lurkers that's that's really the main difference mm -hmm. i was gonna say too one of the most surprising things that i was surprised <laughs> I, thought, I thought i was gonna get like no new like new exposure i've actually met some like kick people oh, yeah. who only watch kick you actually watch they're like yeah i don't watch twitch well that's cool and they're actually cool people they're like normal people mm -hmm. but that's that was yeah. one of my biggest surprises actually streaming there is that i actually like have obtained some people who uh watch who yeah they just watch on kick which i didn't think i was gonna yeah. see that very much but it's more than the, i thought the for only sure. like real issue i've had with the the kick community so far is that there's a significantly larger percentage of people that type with d's in all of their sentences <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you know like that's every time i see that i'm like oh my fucking god what's up brother <laughs> like, <shut> up, <laughs> Bro, don't fucking don't nudge the nest, buddy. Please, bro. There gonna be fucking bees swarming into your stream soon, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like uh, Oda's fine. Like, I'm cool with Oda, but like, get your own personality. You know what I mean? Like, dude, fuck it. <laughs> you know Christ. what's funny? You say that. I see a lot of like when I do go in your stream. Like that is you do have a lot of Oda block crossover. I have a few yeah, that come I have watch a me, surprising but surprising amount of you, Oda block crossover. What do you think that is? Like, what do you? I like, don't know, ball. You actually. May yeah maybe I think there's a ton in there for bro. Block in the thumbnail. Yo, like, <laughs> I don't, bro. It's your time to swoop in. Get it on kick right now, dude. Right, right now. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'll say about him. Make, make no mistake about it. He's destroying it over there. Like he fucking he pulls big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He is he's one of the. He's got to be like top fifty, top twenty five. Uh, insane. For sure. Actually, actually oh, yeah. pretty insane. He's I don't have. You, have you actually considered ever going to kick? Because I know a lot of RuneScape or just YouTubers in general were offered like kick contracts or told to come over. Would you consider doing such a thing? Or since you're not tied to RuneScape as much, I don't know. What, what, what would you, uh, you do? Probably not because I have streamed a little bit recently, very lightly, and I I really enjoyed it as like just a like a casual like side like almost like a free time thing. Can like, I stop you real quick? I enjoyed heavily yeah. your Oblivion playthrough. I was I watched like your first hour, so it was pretty funny. Dude, Good shit. Thanks, and that's what I mean. Like I just wanted to play Oblivion. I was like, because I was like, <laughs> I have free time. I want to play Oblivion. I was like, fuck it, I'll just stream it. So like I probably wouldn't Oblivion. go to kick unless I started taking stream more seriously, and then it would be like you know I'd have to actually consider the financial Clocking incentive in at that at point. At the factory. Yeah, dude. Because then like ugh, work, and I try not to work. Uh, I try my best Real. not to. Best do content Real. creators do. Yeah, they try not to work. Yeah. No, but like one thing that I like just kind of separate topic on kick. One thing that I think really worked for the RuneScape community is that everyone got signed at the same time which mm -hmm. did yeah. feel a little strange with all the twitter announcements happening at the same time and everyone being like cult but it worked well because you moved over to watch you didn't have to move over to watch one of your favorite streamers you can move over and probably find three or four of your favorite streamers because like it's really hard to just move over to a totally new platform because you want to watch one person unless you're like diehard fan so like having the whole wave of people move over i think was like really really beneficial that's like, what uh that's what made it easy even Bodhi says well that's why he jumped over he's like it made it a lot easier knowing that there's at least a lot of people streaming there from the section even when just the only one I, yeah. I couldn't believe dude that was the only one i could not believe Pretty happened. Wild. i i i cannot fathom the amount of money that is on that contract because when i saw that i was blown away i was like holy shit five billion dollars at Six least billion dollars sorry yeah, he's i heard it was yeah. seven <laughs> i heard it was seven. 73 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no oh. way! <laughs> Tasty, that, that's that even, literally, literally <laughs> even just like 
<laughs> Even just talking to Taste Jam when it first like started happening, it was kind of something I was like, "If you do it, I will." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, if, that's." If you, you know how many it, DMs I, I got? I got like <laughs> seven separate DMs where like, "Dude, are you doing it?" <laughs> I'm like, "Do you guys want to make a Discord so we can talk about this?" <laughs> if you do it, I'll. I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> like, I'll jump. I'm the only bridge. gonna go if you guys go, dude. <laughs> yeah. it, kind of, it felt like that, and then once actually like join the discord and there's like 30 people i was like all right i'm in for sure like let's ride yeah. baby <laughs> no, that, dude, that was definitely what actually sealed the deal like if that yeah. was not an element of it no one would have gone yeah no, dude. Well, here's a separate question then uh I've, I've paid less attention to what twitch has been doing on their side has there been like any response in terms of like features they've added or like creator benefits they've given oh uh, yes i'm glad those? you've asked more advertisements <laughs> yeah, dude, the ads, I got an ad on Twitch yesterday because I canceled my Prime or my Turbo when I signed to uh, to kick. I, I immediately clicked off the stream and closed it. I was like, no, <laughs> no. Nah. Time to time, I will open Twitch just to like see who I want. Like sometimes I'll just like be doing something and I like if I'm editing. Sometimes I just like want a Twitch stream up and I was like. I'll try and I get a pre-roll or I get an ad like five minutes into watching and it's like three minutes long and I just I close the tab because I'm like I can't I don't fucking want to like have to mute this every 15 to 30 minutes it's it's brutal it, the ads on Twitch are so goddamn brutal man I forgot it's, how awful they really are because I, I also canceled Turbo in the last like two months because I don't fucking I, I don't I'm not on Twitch much anymore and it's insane I went into T Papa's stream to just like you know say weird things as I normally do. And I just get hit with three minutes of ads. Bro played his entire fucking ad reel in one go. And I'm just like, I hope your fucking hardcore dies here, dude. I fucking hope it does. Uh, Well, that's the thing is like, go ahead. Well, okay. I don't know if I told you guys about this last time on the podcast last week. Did I tell you about my, one of my buddy, I'm not going to say like who he is in case Twitch gets mad at him for this, but one of my content creator friends um, has been streaming on Twitch. But he's like playing VODs. He's not live. He streams like 24 hours of VODs a day and runs 22 minutes of ad and just farms ad revenue. I didn't even know you could run 22 minutes of ad. And he an hour? 22 farms. minutes an hour? Yeah, 22 oh minutes my, an hour. And it's in, a section, <laughs> it's in a section where all the streamers have really high viewers but no chatters. So like it doesn't even look that weird, really. Um, what is it like, the yeah, fucking like, viewbotting section <laughs> like what is yeah. that? no it's fucking it's league of legends fuck you. you yeah you're like come on you know what i mean league of legends does have like barely any chatters and they have like fucking eight thousand yeah. viewers and there's like, like the streamers I mean, people don't chatting talk to anybody. Which, they're yeah, they're yeah that's what i was gonna say like it's not like it's not like most <sighs> mmos especially runescape where you're just like you can kind of chill and like look at chat and talk to people it's like league of legends players i feel like are locked in they uh, got and like trying to process like what the next slur is going to be like they just like <laughs> they don't have time and that is why nine rain is a top tier player it's just in his brain it's just immediately he's right just there so he, good, dude. the he's processing so good. time is like near zero for him dude it's just like <clears throat> boom oh, listen man he lives in texas so <laughs> saying. that's true dude we have a whole slew of questions asked to us on our patreon you guys want to kind of go through that list that sounds great go on yeah. okay they, they, I have. I'm reading one of the first questions from. Mr. You need to Telstra apologize to them first, though, bro. You told them you hated them. That's true. Oh, hey, now you want to use man. their content. Hey, I'm using you as I do with everybody. So get used to it. Your your first girlfriend, your first wife, your parents are probably using you. You are worthless. Anyways, that we got that up. Are you protecting Dude, right that now? was not no. a fucking apology. That wasn't even close. <laughs> <laughs> Let him, him out, dude. Let him. Clearly, he needs, bro. He needs to a, talk, dude. Just let you've him had a tough out. day, you know. I need Elise here to flame you again, honestly. We gotta get her back. Right, check, check this out for Mr. Telstra. If we have to leave Earth and go to Mars, and it turned out there were aliens living there under the surface, would you sleep with an alien if it was bad? How hot? How hot? And is the hole wet? Let's say Avatar, blue Avatar aliens. You, you yeah, she out? bad. Like if she bad, like Zoe Saldana, except you know, type type beat seven fuck foot. Is that? That, the main the, character of the Avatar the Aliens. Blue, blue oh yeah, no. I'd she got it, yeah. the, she got the bow. You know the bow. She got some hips too. She's pretty tall as well. You know. Do you That's picture like, one of those like I'll, I'll it, WNBA it. girls except fucking blue. Yeah. <laughs> I've already said yes. So you don't need to keep clarifying. I was. 
You actually yes keep saying yes. You like, yeah. every time he well, says every something time new, they you clear, keep going, yeah. They yeah, clarify yeah, yeah, yeah. it gets better, dude. I I'm think like, I've been hanging out with you guys. Blue? Recently, <laughs> yeah. recently, I was hanging out with the mother unit, and she had got some some boots, <laughs> and she put them on. She's my mom's tall. She's like six three. She put some boots on, which obviously made her much taller. Your mom is she's, six foot three. Yeah, she's yeah, she's a beast, bro. Sheesh, bro. This is a, a corn fed family. Oh, I, I love Big climbing girl. trees, baby. My mom what? would kill you. <laughs> 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 you have no chance, buddy. Okay. <laughs> But uh, she put some boots on. She's like, how do they look? I was like, it looks like the Lakers are going to be calling you soon. She's like, Seth. I was like, oh, sorry. I was like, my bad. Do you just come from a really tall family? Yeah, no, we're all tall. My sister, she's over six foot. She was actually a legit D1 volleyball athlete. Uh, my brother also, he's like, my brother's like six, seven. He played, uh, he played basketball in college as well. He was also an athlete. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, large individuals in the... Uh, Redacted family. Redacted I don't know was my what last they name. put in yeah, their food down there. Every goddamn. They yeah, no, they have both uh, both sides. Farmers all the way back. You know, we've went over that before. I think. Hopefully, no, they were. In this episode, this episode, Tasty can say Seth's full name a bunch of times, and then have to <laughs> yeah. say it. Yeah, Seth, Seth, bro. Seth, 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 please do not. Please do not. Please, for the love of God. There was a moment. It would have been really funny if Tasty just came in with the full legal right there. Yeah. <laughs> you what the out, fuck, now, dude? <laughs> You know what would be really funny is if we all just yelled each other's you know, government names and social security numbers. That would be really funny. So three. Dude, this is hard social? to pronounce, dude. What I don't really want to know. I can't do that. Yeah, bro. If I try to pronounce your name, Ignoble, I'm racist. Okay, like it's just how yeah. it's gonna go. You're, he's gonna <laughs> cast a spell by accident. Bro. I get he's very nervous. Me. I get very nervous whenever I'm in a situation where I can't say Ignoble and I have to say his first name. I'm like, oh god, don't fuck it, don't fuck it, don't fuck it. I just remember. The first name remember, isn't even the hard part, so, dude. That's an easy name. At first. When we <laughs> when we took over Behemoth, Ignoble was going to be involved, and he decided at a later date not to be. But I just remember we were talking to a lawyer, and they're asking for Ignoble's name, and everybody was just real quiet, and I was fucking dying with the phone muted. I was literally just fucking dying, because I know Tasty was looking at this phone like, oh, how the fuck do I say it? I was like, I'm going to let him say it. Dude, dude. Yeah, I, I, I literally I texted Ignoble, and I was like, please give me your full name and spell it out so I can give it to Bro, the lawyer. I was literally in a gas station. I was pulling up my, my notes app, and I was like, OK, are you ready? I was fucking, I was fucking, I was fucking dying, bro. I was laughing my ass off, just on mute. It's so funny. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was good. Oh my god. Well, glad to know you, you guys know. We went all fucking alien. We're a bunch of freaks here. Come on. That's yeah. Easy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that honestly. was the question. Yeah. yeah the, I, I, thought, I thought you I thought said it would be Avatar alien. Honestly. I was like, yeah. Oh wait, wait. Can I can I do a fucking call out right now? Can we kind of mid episode call out? Um, Idol, how's your snail doing, dude? How's your snail, snail died, doing, man. I got wow. it. And it died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it lived a full yeah. life. Happy yeah. life, man. Yeah. Yeah. What did you What did you it, feed him? What did he eat? What did he eat? What's his diet? I fed him. I fed him the what uh, the <laughs> snail uh, iron, calcium, vitamin A, all the good stuff, all the, everything he needs. Everything is snail okay, needs. Good, good, good. All right, good. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's the health benefits of eating snails. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ate my snail? <laughs> I'm French. What did you expect? I saw Daisy, it. And I bro, you just said you were British. Pick, pick your, in. Pick your in. fucking poison. Happened? You can't be both pieces of shit. You have to pick one. You're French? Dude, yeah. I have three citizenships. I'm I'm English, American, and French. I the Christ, worst. Why did you say the last one, that's bro. Terrible. Come on, man. We're all here. French? Disgusting. Uh, is that um, I gotta take it the room first? No, sorry. Yeah, anyway, the, the joke behind that is that <laughs> we had a secret Santa like a year or two ago, and I got idle like a big snail enclosure and a bunch of decorations because he was doing yeah. snail man mode. It's real thoughtful. Yeah. He got me a piece but, of paper, bro. Fuck got, you, man. I got that. I got oh, that for my snail. Head. snail. Yeah, but I couldn't I ship him a live that. snail, and I couldn't figure out how to get him a snail, so I told him he had to buy his own snail, but... I guess and everyone like knows to do that. everyone knows the best gifts are the one that make the gift receiver do work and spend money. You <laughs> have to go to Petco, dude. You're French or something. You go bro. there regularly. I, think, like, I have to take care of a living being. You I have to give it iron oxide it. pellets or whatever, dude. That's no. not that hard. Everyone knows that snails eat <laughs> mushrooms, berries, lettuce, stems, bark. 
and other crops. A lot of hard. It's hard to find <laughs> that. In this fucking, I'm with you. You grind your weed and throw your fucking stems in there and your sailing clothes. Oh, no. Like, yeah, dude. Bro, he's the cook snail, bro. Dude. You guys ever yeah. seen that video where the guy puts the two snails on his dick and then he comes? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? We'll we'll we'll, we'll react to it on the Patreon. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's no. my segue. What is that, that was my podcast bro, the worst <laughs> the world. Bro, I was trying to sell something good. I was trying to get us some patrons. Yeah, Feed our producer. You know how many people, bro? So many people were just like listening to the podcast, doing some other shit, and they all just went. They're interested now, okay? We got them locked bro, in for the Patreon. You, You're welcome. Saint, you cannot tell you, T Papa that bro. what he says spikes engagement. Dude, you cannot I'm tell him about this thing. Right you, you, you can't guys, tell him on. these things because this is what he's going to do. He's going to talk about this, bro. Yeah. Also, Idol, I will never forget the gift you got me. I'm still mad, and when dude, I see you, you next no time, proof. dude... You have no proof that was me. <laughs> <laughs> you have no proof that was me. The craziest thing is I threw it away because I was like, he wouldn't do this. He wouldn't say dude, this. Just, it was so funny because I was talking... Um, who was I talking? I was on Discord with some people, and mm -hmm. I, was like, I was like, guys, I need a gift for someone. It's secret, and then I said who it was. Uh, and we just thought for a while, and then someone pulled up your Twitter and was like, just yeah. take one of these tweets. Laminated <laughs> photo. It was a laminated photo of me talking about doing something with my sister. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> At least you laminated it, though. What if, and there, what was if it no, wasn't there was no, like, there was like no, there was no nothing at no, all. No it frame. Was, there nothing. was there was nothing. I just got a poster of that. It was like, oh God, where did I, I think I got it from yeah. like Vista Print. Shout out. And I'd Print. given out my address before, so I just figured it was somebody sending it to me just to be fucking as a ha ha. You've like, given I out your no address clue. before? I don't care. Yeah, I've given out my address before. Show up. Like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> so, you know, I like my odds. It's uh, it's okay. That's hard. Right, I don't so do that now. He's still inviting violence into his house. <laughs> Watch out, bro. <laughs> he has not backed it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have before, but no, I definitely at like, an earlier time. It's true. I talked about it earlier before. I was definitely, I would just like, I was just crazy, a little crazier with people when they come in, you know? It was good content, though. The stream enjoyed it, you know? Some people remember. Wait, T Papa, was that, was that you? We were playing a game of Counter Strike with. Kato Yari. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. And the guy on our team was like just pissed because we were goofing around and he's talking mad shit. He's like, give me your address, pussy. I'll come fuck you up. And Kato like messages me. He's like, hey, dude, can I send my address on your stream? And I was like, <laughs> I, I guess. And he just says his full blown address yeah. to my stream, to T Papa's stream, and to the whole fucking like CSGO lobby. Kato Yari like, knows his just Second Amendment rights, brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, I've got guns. I'm fine. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, that actually reminds me of something I went through recently in kind of the opposite way. I've never been muted on any game I've played in my life except for one, and it happened recently. I was playing uh, World of Warcraft Hardcore when that was big, and I died at a high level, and it makes an announcement for everyone. So people like will whisper whoever dies to flame them. Oh, and so when sick. I died... I wish RuneScape that. had that, dude. That'd be so yeah, that's good. so good. <laughs> So dude, when I died, I was just like, they're like, oh, shit. And then someone whispered me being like, eh, you fucking suck. See you in hell, bitch. So I replied, naturally, give me your real life address. <laughs> and then I got muted. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell, man? I didn't actually want it. But like... <laughs> And also, it's the only time I've seen Blizzard ever like moderate their game, and it was because I asked someone for their address. <laughs> you don't know what my intentions were. Oh fuck, bro! Have Can you, guys you ever imagine? Muted? Like no go one ahead, probably has. Oh, do you guys? Anyone oh. else been muted? Well, I literally, I yeah, just, yeah. I just got banned oh, in Valorant until May <laughs> yesterday. What did you do? Uh, so, I mean, we had this one Cypher and he was only buying an outlaw. We lost in double OT. I was carrying the fuck out of the team. And mm. I told him, I hope you die in real life. You fucking bitch ass cunt. You're a worthless sack of shit. Which and is I hope your response. mom dies. And, uh, okay. I got banned. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the mom <laughs> dies with putting it over, dude. I guess so. Uh, it's okay. Jokes on them. I have a, uh, I have another account. I just logged right back into that one. Like we're fucking, we're chilling. We're Dude, still going. The alt <laughs> accounts are so good. I love that shit. I learned I, my lesson though. I'm not gonna do it anyway. Sorry. Go ahead, ignore. I, I love. I, I used to play Rocket League. That was the game I used to play before. I used to play RuneScape. I, I have like a lot of hours in that game, and. In some of the rank lobbies that I played, sometimes if somebody fucked up, I, I had a tendency to like open up my chat. So the thing is, you play with both people who have 
um, who can play on like PS4, PS5, and Xbox and computer lobbies. If you you can match up with them, I don't know if they can see the text or not, but as a computer player, you have access to your keyboard. You can type shit. I don't think the console players can do that. So there are often times where somebody else would fuck up, and I would ask, I would you know say many things to them, and. One of the chats that consistently got me banned was I would ask for their address so that I could mail them, you know, a little suitcase with, you know, nitroglycerin, you know, those fun type type things in it. And they kept banning me for asking for like personal details and things like that. And like, I'm, you know, it's kind of fucked up, but (laughs) it kept happening. Then I got banned for, I think like six, six weeks. And then I kind of just stopped playing from there. So that's Um, how we skipped. I'm not proud of this. Uh, but League of Legends has been out for a long time and I started playing sophomore year of high school and from sophomore year of high school all the way to probably sophomore year of college I had 12 League of Legends accounts permanently banned he said it what did you he say? did say, say it. it he said it you I w- said it I would I would he had to I would tell people to kill themselves on a regular basis and what I didn't know at the time was once they had your IP flagged for a perma banned account they could like ban me within like two days and so I think I racked up four account bans in the span of two weeks perma bans not like just one off bans perma bans so right yeah hey yeah Tyler yeah. one came back from it. You can too, baby. It's time to start up again. I have not been banned since uh, my uh, junior year of college, so we're we're good. He's reformed. reformed. Damn, you. It's actually yeah. is reformed. It's it been a while be. since then, bro. We're getting kind of old. I saw Saint Titus yeah. last weekend, actually. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, your uh, your your brother Corey was in town, yeah. Yes, my uh, cousin. By the way, it's my your cousin. cousin. Sorry, my right. cousin Corey and Mr. Saint Titus. We went and saw uh, Tom Segura on Friday. It was outstanding. It was uh, hilarious, mainly because like he definitely skewed away from his bit because he came out with O.J. Simpson jokes because O.J. Simpson just died and it was fucking oh, hilarious. Yeah. Like he came yeah, out cool heavy. guy, Rip man, Rip yeah. MVP dude. <laughs> he came dude, out heavy with O.J. Heck of a football player, man. <laughs> heck of a football <laughs> player for real. Did, wait, did O.J. keep heavy. his Heisman and Reggie Bush lost yes. his? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but you don't understand because like Reggie Bush, he took money, so. <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah. He, no, that's he his mom took money so she could eat. Well, she did have a hundred thousand dollar house, or that's not whatever. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> that's like a box. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. What? Yeah. Now they're I mean, paying college football did, players. He killed one woman. Like, come on, it's football, dude. No, it's it was football. a woman and a man. Right? Cause it was two. <laughs> he killed. It yeah. was actually yeah. did. Okay, allegedly, he killed two people. Yeah, it was his well, wife if, and his if, friend. If he did it. Oh, okay. If he did it. Which yeah, we yeah. don't know that he did. It's like, <laughs> dude, you know the craziest thing is like I also saw like a video mm-hmm. on TikTok of like apparently around then he went he went crazy. His buddy was driving like a car, uh, driving like a white van, or white. I forget what it was. And then he was in the back like on the phone like calling people, and there was like a huge police chase around LA with him Again? in it. It's like you don't see that kind of shit these days anymore, man. You don't get those kind of like celebrities going on like a drunken That was just with, like, him by himself in the Bronco, bro. Him. That's a that's that's a famous the Bronco. A famous yeah, he had his, no, his friend was driving the Bronco and his he friend was, was driving phone call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, his, his friend, friend yeah. His friend his brother, his cousin, something like that. But I thought yeah, he was driving. driving. New, I thought he was driving by himself. One. I don't know that. No, this is the this is like the original chase. Okay, okay. I see. And it was a slow speed chase by the way. So like it was remember the really that fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like you don't see that kind of celebrity engagement anymore with like you know our civil <laughs> servants like the cops. You know, it's it's just I wish there was more of that. Like you know, on TV, everyone's tuned in, and wa- the whole nation is watching us chase fucking I don't know. Imagine Patrick Mahomes went on a fucking bender and started driving ninety miles an hour down ninety five, and you're like, fuck, dude, the entire world tuned in. How sick yeah, of you that know scene why? Is fucked. You know why they yeah. don't anymore? You want to know the real reason? Why is it civil litigation? <laughs> That is why. What the hell liability. is liability? To clarify, yeah. I don't know what those words mean, dude. Yeah. Can you explain yourself? Liability. People getting sued. Like it's you. Like the amounts of money like, you can lose everything. Like literally everything. So like police departments have changed all their like pursuit policies to where they really won't chase anybody unless they're literally like running and shooting, like just fucking Grand Theft Auto, like shooting people as they <laughs> fucking driving. Like unless it's really bad, like the police don't chase anybody anymore because of liability. Wait, what was that? What was that one thing like several years back where a dude stole like a mail truck and was like driving? down the highway real slow and so the cops like open fired on him and killed like a couple civilians 
in the process on that the highway. Would be, that would be what we call a civil liability. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The dude is like Seth slow. in the back of that shot is like reloading his gun. Like, he's like, what? Yeah, he's just popping off in the air, dude. That's a very big liability. Yeah, I believe that costs the police department probably a lot of money. Uh, that being the government as well. A lot of fucking money. But that is, uh, yeah. yeah. There's like dude, a there's, helicopter and like 17 cops. Dude, cars there's and the dude so was gone many. Like there is so many stories <laughs> like, of like and like situations where like police are chasing people and they end up just killing so many other people that have nothing to do with the fucking police chase. It's just like you know, like what's you know what's the ver worth there? And of course, like they're getting sued out the fucking wazoo because you, you fucking killed four families chasing some guy who probably didn't need to be chased. So that's probably uh that is why you don't see the fucking the helicopter police chase as much anymore. Speaking of the unsolved OJ murders. I yes. saw this TikTok that I think would work really well for your Patreon. It's called Cold Cases, where a dude drinks an entire rack of beer and tries to solve an unsolved murder. <laughs> so I think like that would be like a really fun like Patreon bonus where it's like you guys um, try to figure out who killed we got... the two people in the OJ murder while finishing an entire rack of beer each. <laughs> we got has, today has on the he... Patreon, we got threats. I think she we killed got herself. Smells. I think OJ's wife killed herself. Yeah. And her friend. Yeah. At the same time. It was her boyfriend. So we got oh, was, threats, okay. threats, snails on dicks. What was yours, Ignoble? Um, Nine Rain's slurs. favorite racial slurs. Nine Rain's favorite slurs, and now we have <laughs> solving OJ's murder on the Patreon today, ladies and gentlemen. Consider subscribing. Only Honestly, five dollars. This might be the best Patreon ever. I'm trying to, to change my mind, dude. I, don't, like, I think we have so much bad now. It's turning good. It has a lot of potential. Yeah. It's getting yeah. better. Like we've definitely built this up. You know? For uh, for nine range slurs, like can you do like a top ten and get the Burger King foot lettuce guy to be like number ten, nine range when playing <laughs> League of Legends. <laughs> I'm sorry, who is Burger King foot lettuce guy? You don't know Burger King foot? He's just like this stupid top ten channel or top fifteen. He's very <laughs> specific about it. That's all I know. And uh, one time he released this video where the title was like one thing that was not about fast food, not about Burger King, nothing. You click on it, no intro. It just goes, number 10, Burger King foot lettuce. How would you feel if there was foot fungus in your Burger King foot, le in your Burger King lettuce? And everyone's like, lettuce. what? What the <laughs> fuck is this video? And that one clip of just him being, saying number 10, Burger King foot lettuce went right, I get viral it. as shit. He's my favorite dude on the internet. He released a rap uh, album or song, one of the two. He's the best. I love him. When's the I next Idol rap album or song? Dude. Uh, Tomorrow. Wait, really? What? Dude, I make songs so fast. I made one for my patrons that I just put in the end of a video. Like, I just... Could you make one make for songs. us, possibly? Dude, it's cooking. Yeah, but like, you have to understand, it will suck. That's good. I mean, that's... Uh, I mean, we literally have... It was we have Noble on here, bro. This this podcast sucks. It's just is what it is, dude. Not for okay. long, dude. Not for long. Right? <laughs> Not for long after that. Post, Can we go dude? back to That's the voting? Crazy. Can we pull that topic up, scientists? What are the vote? What's the vote side now? Because you left that bad boy up for a while, right? What's what are we looking like it right now? Still, Can you pose to the audience too? It is still going right now, but it, let me log on and check real quick. Can you can you tell the the audience what the uh, the question is? The hypothetical. So the hypothetical is I don't know if we have any Spotify listeners here. I know this is uh, mainly YouTube, but any Spotify listeners watching right now, thank you for doing the polls i do a weekly poll for every podcast we do and for this week it was if we had to kick off ignoble or t papa who would you pick and we're currently at 19 votes uh t papa has six ignoble you have 13 <laughs> Landslide, those bro. six motherfuckers <laughs> bro. i kind of respect good, them but... a little bit dude you know I, I, wait I, wait I, wait, I, get wait. It. I gotta ask does spotify polling work the way that runescape polling used to work where it showed you the results before you voted so like are people just piling on them or this is this just like i don't coincidence i don't know the other end i don't know the back end for the user but i would imagine it doesn't show you so it's fully anonymous yes not. Good. I don't know that for sure. I'm All just, I'm going to say is say I'm going to bring back my Rocket League days. Send me your address, all 13 of you. I have enough. <laughs> Dude, you're going to get an address on your fucking DMs, bro. You better watch out. It's going to be my address too, motherfucker. Yeah. Someone's going to no, fucking DM you, and they're going to send you your address, bro. Like, you better be fucking ready for it. With the IP too. <laughs> PJ just hates Ignobo so much. It's been PJ on 13 alt accounts, and it's six motherfuckers that actually just dislike me, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh fuck 
So, um, I mean, we've talked about a lot. Do we want to? Do we want to dabble into the topics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, we can do uh, some more. We can do we some have, more. Yeah. We've got okay. a couple. Uh, here's a here's a good a one. It's it's a different take on a somewhat common question, but I like how this one is phrased. It is uh if you were naked wearing nothing but cowboy boots, how many gnomes do you think you could fight if they all came at you at once? How big I would are the say gnomes? a gnome does not go <laughs> past your kneecap. But who's the patron of that? Can you give them person? credit for that such was an incredible Telstra. question? Telstra Telstra asked that. Thank one. you, Telstra. We love you. Thank you. No, we're talking about so like like you're like up to okay. I think up to your knee like they that would be what it, I would consider a gnome. I think, All right, yeah, well, my knee. knee's a lot higher up than your knee, dude. So. And it, oh, yeah, that's true. Right. Like, there you go. <laughs> Damn, sit down, little guy. <laughs> bro, you're bald, bro. Just, just stop it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not hey, the only the bald guy on this call. So <laughs> yeah, I, that's that, that doesn't fall that multiple bro. people. Yeah. No, no, there's there's three bald guys on this call. All right, Jay, hey, listen, we're aware, dude. I'm joining you soon. I'm not bald yet. Okay? Joe did not God want to it. join you on that one, dude. That was not my kid, dude. He was like, "Hey, pal, I'm not fucking bald yet, buddy." <laughs> no, no. Listen. I got a couple more years left and maybe a trip to Turkey. All right, yeah, <laughs> Turkish Airlines, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. so did you ever think about getting a hair transplant, Tasty, or no? What the fuck, dude? No. How many gnomes can we kill? Like, I'm just curious, on. dude. I'm just seven curious. minimum, seven probably more than a dozen is getting a little too confident, but I can more do than it, dude. They're they're twelve they're, they're at leg height. Like, at dude, the you don't same know how strong kills, though, they are. Man. You don't you don't know their muscle yeah. fiber density. They could you don't just know like their grab levels. your pe you could grab each of your toes, uh. snap them. Break Being your legs. naked is the issue. Wearing boots. The boots. Wearing, yeah, oh, yeah, but having yeah, boots is a disadvantage. That's a disadvantage. No, like, because now we can example. kick hard. No, because the, no, the gnomes are just kicking. Like, you're not, you don't want to punch down to them. It's going to be a lot of leg action. And your, your legs but are hold kinda, on. You could grab one of the gnomes by the legs and use it as a weapon. Yeah. But like, yeah, if they the get too to close it. to you, remember, you're naked, right? Like, what if they, like, you know, trench coat two on top of each other, grab you by the balls? That's, the, the, that's what well, I Here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. It depends no. how many gnomes are coming at you at first. Like if it's, if it's, is it levels? one at a time? Because if they're it's all together. All at once. It's all at once. The question is, how all many at once. is it? How many are there? How many gnomes are there? How many can you kill? Well, you have to decide. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I, Are they I spawning in a circle like... around you, or is it a line? <laughs> yeah. Do they, do they have, like, have you covered strategies? on angles? Do they know? Yeah, bro, they're like the fucking. Uh, and like yeah, can <laughs> they like, organize? Like I the revolutionary British, guys. bro. They're gonna they're gonna line up and march towards you. I imagine <laughs> like formation. it's going to be a group all at once, but they have to funnel through a doorway. Oh, oh they go through a doorway. That, I can go all dude, day. That, it's just it's yeah. just stamina. It's about whenever you get tired. That's gonna be when you get tired of kicking them, bro. I mean, the, like funneled. thirty can enter a doorway pretty quickly, you know. Like that's, I think the second they get to your I dick, mean, it's over. Like the second, like you, if you you fend them off until they like until one has a grasp on your wiener, then like, I mean that's gonna that's gonna be. Your papa's issue. never been Game in over. a real fight. You could do Game like over. Silence of the Lambs <laughs> have, and like have, tuck it. I have never been in a fight where I'm only wearing cowboy <laughs> boots and naked, and I'm taking everything into account. Okay. I'm I'm telling you, if you're the drilling's really go and it's live or dead, you're not gonna feel them grabbing your dick. I promise you, you'll just be fine. Okay, maybe you won't. I do. I'm, I could I'm saying. do a. Do I will go for a dozen to be safe. I'll go for a dozen. Twelve. Twelve is tough. Ooh, twelve. Like that, that's 12. quite a lot of them. 12? Yeah, I'm gonna go. That's... I'm gonna go like between maybe like twelve to fifteen somewhere in there. It's gonna depend on how many kicks I can get in. Twenty four hands oh, dude, grabbing at your wiener. I think we're. I think we're way undervaluing how good we are and how tiny gnomes if, are. If they're at my kneecap, it's dude, not really my a bet legs? I'm trying to take though. You know what I mean? Dude, like I can I know. kick. Dude. What do you think? I, I need you. I need your. You played a lot of MMOs. You've you've played against a lot yeah. of gnomes and shit. And <laughs> yeah, games. this is what a question think? for the president of MMOs. Real. That's right. true. That's true. Real. I'm sorry. Well, one I'm thing I can up. tell you is that gnomes in every other MMO suck, and gnomes in RuneScape <laughs> are war hungry. So <laughs> really if it's hard. RuneScape gnomes, we're fucked. They have better technology. Uh, they can work together. Uh, they have better, like, just they have ambassadors everywhere. Like, that's concerning. Like, I kill one, all of a sudden, I got like kingdoms coming down on me. <laughs> True. So, yeah. I would say if it's anything Bro's but RuneScape gnomes, ahead. 15. 15 if it's non RuneScape gnomes. If it's RuneScape gnomes, I'm searching for diplomatic routes. That's a good answer. That's not I'm, part I'm of the question. That's not that. on the premise. You can't do that. I'm going to trust the okay, president well, on then, this, man. Then, with RuneScape gnomes, I'm going to take down seven. 
and I mm, say by that fair. point they pull, they pull out like the the three dudes on the turtle and like then it's over. <laughs> okay, yeah. if that's we like kill wave, the gnome, like can seven, we then take six. the tools they were using against us? Like, say a gnome had a little spear. Can They're I know like how the spear if I kill him? Weensy. That's got like a bow and arrow. This yeah, well, if the spears like, have, oh, if oh. the gnomes have weapons, that changes the entire premise of the debate. Yeah, you're like, fucked, that had bro. to be specified before. Okay, yeah. so they're using just. Can I use an AR-15? You know, like what's yes. the, what do you? You yeah. can use an AR-15. But I like my chances. But I don't like my chances. They use the weapons of their people. You use the weapons of your people. <laughs> fifteen gnomes with AR-15s is terrifying, bro. I'm choosing fifteen million gnomes, and I'm fuck. glassing them with a nuke, dude. That's or it's like two. I'm it's like two gnomes. Each each gnome had like they're working together. There's two of them just holding AR-15s, like moving it. <laughs> that would be fucking that'd be terrifying Dude, be i fucked. just came up if we can do this i think that we can develop a great new game we can develop like you know how nazi zombies had like wave based zombies we do that with gnomes mm -hmm. except you start off naked in just cowboy boots you start off just kicking them and then you can slowly you know buy guns make your way up to an ar-15 pack okay. a punch that shit okay. dude d pop what's that mobile game you're playing called Legend of Mushroom. My if they can get, if oh. they can get him to play good. that, we can get people to play Naked Cowboy Gnome Fighter. Okay. Naked Cowboy Gnome. That's such a good name. That's, That's a good name. A great name. That's a good Naked name, dude. Cowboy I can see that being like fighter. top of Twitch for like <laughs> oh, like for like two weeks. Yeah. Like dude, I just see that happening. You gotta get Naked Gnome. <laughs> Naked Cowboy Gnome Fighter. It's a banger. <laughs> Dude, trademark that it's shit. Literally real quick. just that this, premise where you're just fighting waves of gnomes and you start out naked with nothing we but base, cowboy boots. We base yeah. the final boss off of Gnome Monkey. Sold. Oh my god. <laughs> he like comes out and he's like <laughs> He has all the DPS calcs ready for your ass, bro. It's gonna be a tough fight. It's gonna be a tough fight. <laughs> DPS calc. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough fight. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we talked way too long about that topic. Bro. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm glad. I, I liked that one a lot because it was a it was a good question of of that That's side of question. It was a good question. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Spirit, but for real, like, dude, roguelites are huge right now. You just described a roguelite that would be massive. Like you're right. That that would that would blow up. Yeah. That, that would undoubtedly blow up. I you're just making words up. Roguelite doesn't even mean developer. anything to me. Bro, just uh, saying shit. Right it's now. like Risk of Rain. It's like, you never play Risk of uh, Rain. Uh, Right? Is heard. that is that not one? I've never played that. No, Risk of Rain. Gunfire, Gunfire, Re Gunfire Reborn, is that one? What the hell are you know, talking about? The, you the can big tell one idols like, what the fuck is this but dude it's like, saying? The more you Shut play, up. the the more benefits you get. Like Vampire Survivors. Mm. It's like a yeah. cocaine simulator where like you just get really addicted and really fucking powerful the more you do. <laughs> um, and uh, that's how I imagine cocaine works at least. And, uh, well, we, have we saw your Twitch we'll gun, buddy. Nice try, dude. How nice try, Idol dude. Reacts to cocaine, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, Patreon <laughs> episode, we have sent him some to try. <laughs> yes, and we have cocaine <laughs> on the Patreon episode. <laughs> cocaine as well. Okay, we're building. We're building. This is good. This is good. We started kind of slow. Good, Patreon. Things are. Naked Cowboy up, yeah. Gnome Fighter. It just rolls off the tongue. I just can't get That's it. That's a good title for this that, episode, dude, yeah. actually. I don't know, Naked dude. Cowboy the, Gnome Fighter. The YouTube, the YouTube workshops of Behemoth is helping a little bit, bro. I'm, hey, you know, if any of you guys coming. are game devs and ha need an idea, come talk to us because we have ideas. We just None of us can execute because we're fucking stupid, so... No, we dude, we're you. just so busy. Like, ugh. Yeah, we're busy. We're busy. We're busy. Oh, we work, is. you know. Some of us go live. Some of us don't. <clears throat> Real. That is... Yeah. Dude, that's Real. profound. I put a topic in here. We never actually talked about this. So I got a message the other day from the <laughs> Made for Las Vegas <laughs> about <laughs> doing another cleaning. I forgot how dirty when we went to TwitchCon Las Vegas, how dirty that floor was. I have it never was sticky. in it's my filthy. life seen a more dirty floor. <laughs> from one night it went from a white nice tile to black tar heroin yeah. overnight dude. dude i woke up in the morning and i walked over that with bare feet for like one step oh. and then i went back upstairs and put my crocs on and i was like i'm not oh, yeah, 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 it yeah, was I insane that. i literally ordered a cleaning company to come clean the floors of an airbnb yeah before so the actual dirty. cleaners for the airbnb came dude. Like, <laughs> 
I mean, but the guys are saying it probably needed uh, two passes, to be honest. No, it, oh, defi- it, it, yeah, it definitely it did. Oh, it needed, yeah. It was, it bad. was uh, you know, yeah. And they did, you know, they did a good job. It actually, uh, they, did, they cleaned it up, but I had forgot about that. We, we never even, we, I don't think we ever talked about that. That is, I don't know how. I mean, it was dirty. <sighs> and the, the issue, our biggest mistake, right? So we threw a big party, and then the next morning we had cleaners show up, and it was all clean. And then uh we threw one more big party <laughs> yeah, that was the issue too is it like it went from like Oops. pristine to like holy fuck to like clean to like well this will be all right hopefully it it was, yeah uh, they never charged us we got our deposit and everything like it was as good as fine yeah. yeah yeah you've never been charged for any of the airbnbs because you did the, the last two didn't you put it on yours? yeah i did both the twitchcon airbnbs which fucking you, one of you guys next time dude i'm not like, I'm, in Tennessee. I'm not gambling I again you, dude i don't like, know why you do it i just like hey man you want to do it and you're like yeah i got it yeah okay, that's great yeah I'm be a well bro i'm glad i'm glad you did the last the last two times though because we booked the airbnbs like two, one to two days after twitchcon was announced and so like we got we looked out we got great airbnbs we looked out <laughs> for sure it's hard to find it's a big one on it. that's nice yeah oh yeah a big um, one in a good I, I will, location i will give the base team that one thing you know <laughs> they they're good at planning shit if, it'll you guys if you guys are gonna if you know twitchcon is happening we're gonna be having something it's gonna be fucking crazy yeah you and your fucking itineraries bud except not in europe we're not throwing any party I yeah, like that's that, for the Europeans they, to figure out, dude. They made fun of Ignoble's itinerary, and like my itinerary was like done in two seconds and spelled all wrong and shit. And they're like, "Thank you so much, Prison Joe, for the itinerary." <laughs> yeah. But they just dude, fucking make fun I of you know, when you make one. I think like, the itinerary is great. Like that yellow font might have been the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Like that was like, okay, I can't did you know? Yeah, no, that was so the dumbest thing in the world. Listen, listen, you had to listen, listen. Stop do that. talking. Stop talking. <laughs> did you open it with Word? If you open it with word, word, if you open it with word, it should have been a black background. Should have been. I tested it too because the first time I didn't, oh. and I fucked up. But this I tested time, it, guys. this time, I'm not I was blamed for having it. Fucking... Always been unreadable. I had to. I what I did. You know what I did is I downloaded my own version and I changed the colors and I resaved it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this time I swear I tested it. The first, the Tennessee one I fucked up, but this one I actually, I fucking, I was like, okay, it works. Like this is it. I even did a spell check too on this one. Like I ran it through spell check. Last one I didn't. Okay, like I, I upgraded this time. Okay, man. I did you my know best. how bad it was, bro? Just like we, I didn't even open the itinerary yet. Itinerary was spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's that a hard the first word to one, spell, yes. dude. All right, from Tennessee. Just, like, okay. like, yeah. hard word. We, do so much we don't have a formal education here in Tennessee. You just kind of live, you know. So, what do you want from me, man? All right. God. Respect. Yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. But uh, we'd have a nice itinerary for Orlando. I'm very excited. We'll be there in uh, hey guys, one month. So that's pretty cool. Well, one month in a few days. Yeah. I don't. You want to come? Month to orlando yeah sure i've never been to orlando is it good okay. you should yeah we are. I just want, can we just keep inviting everybody we have on here and just see how crazy it gets <laughs> yeah we just, we there's, literally, there's we, so we, much space there's so much room just book a flight show up we literally invited yeah. Seder, and he's like yeah we're like really he's that like, yeah. does sound like Seder though like he's yeah. the kind of dude who will just say yes to anything and then like follow through <laughs> with, like, respect <laughs> what do you mean by that <laughs> <laughs> that was I think good. we all that know funny. what I mean by that. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny as fuck, actually. That was great. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, 12 hours and 23 minutes to Orlando. Let's go. 12 that's hours? That's a flight? No direct flight? To drive? Or? No, not a direct flight. That, that's that's the cheapest flight. It has two stops. What is Why that, bro? Parachute know? Airlines? What are you looking at? No. Jesus Close, God. though. It's Frontier. So, okay. <laughs> dude, Frontier is the only airline that offers nonstop from Phoenix yeah. to Florida. It's <laughs> they got launch airs on there. I think it'll be has nice. Nonstop everywhere. It's ridiculous, and I try not to use them because I value my life. But like, sometimes <laughs> I just see. The thing is, they've got a good so safety cheap. record with the planes. You just get beat up by a drunk woman on the plane. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's yeah. that's yeah. really the Don't worry about that's that. really the risk. <laughs> Oh yeah. no, the drunk lady's beating me up. Oh no. Yeah, she's coming oh, back no, from she spring break and she's dick. 220 oh, pounds. No. <laughs> off, but she's bigger than you, bud. Oh no. <laughs> I'm actually just beat up. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be funny. I'd pay. <laughs> Real. 
But yeah, consider. <laughs> you should show up. Uh, Nine Rain's coming. I don't know if he's staying Ooh. with us though. But are you saying no, that he's... as like a as like a incentive or as like a just like, hey like heads up though? Maybe. Look, I like you, so I'm gonna let you know up. before, dude. He's coming. He is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like he's we are gonna waterboard like, him. He watched the last podcast, so like, <laughs> fuck. You did call him a bitch. Yeah. You said a lot of nice things about him, so maybe you pause it there before you call him a bitch. So. Yeah, you like close the tab right after I finish saying all those nice things. Yeah, that'd yeah, be like hopefully. ideal. Um, I like uh, this is an interesting topic. I've never heard this before. It's from Mister uh, Blood Braid. Thanks for being a patron. While doing a Joan, have you ever heard of that before? J O A N. Never heard of a Joan. Joan. What is that? Um, can you jerk off that, and nap? Is that yes, what it is? Jerk off, yes. How'd you know There's, that? There doesn't know. need to be a fucking word I said, for that. I figured you... out jerk off and, and I was like, well, what's the end going to be? It got to be nap. Okay, okay. well, that's what I was you supposed to say. Can you a sentence for me? Do you clean up your jizz, then nap, or nap with the jizz on you and clean up after? What the fuck is wrong with you? Do, Do we have any other know? questions? Are there any other <laughs> questions in the in the queue today Look, I'm not proud you, to admit it you guys I'm not proud to admit it I've nutted and gone to bed like and just like, it, it's happened I'm sad right? to admit that it has Listen, happened okay. well that's why I asked because I knew at least one of you sick fucks have slept with cum on you okay? oh and prison judge not never on, slept with purpose. cum on him dude no yeah. dude never I think I probably Except did for that one time. in my life yeah but I, I have never purposely slept with cum <laughs> on me, but I, you know. <laughs> there was There's one no excuse for twice. Up. There's no excuse for twice. Once, no, maybe. Dude. There's no excuse for twice. Fool me once. I specifically There's remember no once. I don't remember the second time. I'm just saying it's probably what? happened twice. That's crazy. Yeah. Literally the only time it has ever happened to me was actually in TwitchCon Vegas, dude. I woke up and there's a little bit of crusty. I woke up because someone was closing my door. And I like, and there was like, come on me. And then I go and like, I go into Ignoble's room and he's like pretending to be asleep, dude. He's like trying to fucking fool me. I know it was you, bud. I know that was your come. Nice fucking try. You caught me. I was fucking stealth jerking <laughs> the entire time. I was dude, stealth the jerking. The thought of the Ignoble jacking off of your passed out drunk body is disturbing oh my God. in so many different ways that it should not be fucking arable on YouTube or Spotify or any free platform to watch this goddamn podcast. Dude, no, that's you not even on Patreon. You can't even dude, get no. that on Patreon. That's like, <laughs> that's, that's, like, like, that's live leaks. That live doesn't leaks even material. disturb me that much, dude. If I knew that happened, I'd be like, oh, Ignoble. You know, like, it's, <laughs> that's not it's okay. Bad. You shouldn't that's say that. That's just the cost of doing business, dude. He was, he was my neighbor. He was my roommate, dude. Like, what am I gonna do? Jesus Christ! Sometimes you gotta get jerked off. Oh, fucking hell, dude! You guys I hate never this heard so of the much. white skittle. What? You guys what? ever like Urban Dictionary white skittle? You know this that is when is? we no. move on. I think hopefully. Yeah, all right, we can move on. That's fine. I won't tell you. <laughs> I need a definition. Give me a definition. Oh, okay. What up. you do? Okay, what you do is uh, <laughs> you come in your belly button and then you let it sit there for a day and then you scoop it out and it's gonna be the consistency of like a white skittle. <sighs> Dude, the only time I ever revert back to like my childhood where my brother would bring back his like friends and they just talk about random shit and I would just like be flooded with information my tiny brain wasn't ready to handle. I have not felt that until right now where I'm just getting flooded with information where it's like, oh, I shouldn't know this. Like, uh oh, my brain's not developed enough to understand what a Amen. white Skittle is. Like, holy welcome, shit. Welcome to I was happier dark. before. It was a lot happier before you said that. I, I, I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, oh, that's a different person. That person's not the same. <laughs> hey, look, different knowing person. knowing what a white Skittle is, is it's a burden, and I'm glad I can share it with you guys. <laughs> Thanks. I hate this. Oh, Twitter workshop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move on. Uh, you guys got any good tweets? Or? Yeah, no, I think it's I got some good tweets to send. I got some good tweets to send. You, you remember the Twitter workshop, right, Idol? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do um, you have a tweet? Do you have something, T Papa? I do. I have two that I have been sitting on. Actually, yeah. He told me when we were doing, we were playing RuneScape together, doing Tob. He told me, yeah, he he was gassing these tweets up. Actually, so I don't really? expect much. Bro, even with that being said, they're, 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 they're the same level <laughs> of tweet. <laughs> Dude, 
I was just talking. I was yapping. You were a serial loud, liar. I was just saying things. Like the more I know just, you, the more I realize that you were actually a serial liar. I think. I just <laughs> all I know. Oh no! no when I'm specifically when I'm streaming, it is just nonstop. <laughs> it's what can I think it's of called that's farming. not real? I told it's called Tasty, farming, bro. That's, not that's Tasty. Different. You know why he didn't invite me last night? He knows that we have plans to unionize, bro. So he did not invite I me. I told him. I, I told him. him we had why would you tell him? We should have told him. We should have told him, bro. I wanted to see his response, and he was trying to union bust, dude. He was. Trying to union bust yeah, I, I'm saying, dude. I, I called you liberals, bro. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, you accused us of being Come liberals. This <laughs> <laughs> is actually my voice, dude. I did my faux voice. <laughs> I thought, uh, dude, he did a faux impression, and I was like, is that supposed to be Prison Joe? <laughs> 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 He did say that, dude. Hey, man, me and Foe would have a good time, probably, until, I, until he lets me talk for a few yeah, minutes. I thought me and Foe would have a good time, and then after about an hour, he'd be like, get the fuck out of my house, buddy. Oh, <laughs> like, dude. I think, I think Foe likes the idea of me, but hates me as a person. You know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. I agree. He probably feels the same way about all of us. Yeah. Yeah. He's an adult. He's a dad. Yeah, he's like he an has actual a family. Adult, yeah, he does you know, not like, want oh, yeah. to be associated with people who are talking about white Skittles. That's true. Um, yeah. I've heard Foe say some some interesting things on stream. All right. He gets a little sus, you know, you know, with he the boys. You know who actually gets like just as sus as us, but like flies so low under the radar because of that same level is Mr. Mammal. Is just saying. Oh yeah. Oh dude, wild, he does. He just wild yeah. shit sometimes. Yeah, no. Out of left shit. field. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, he just fucking I think left that's a genetic out. thing, bro. He's my I cousin, this, dude. That's I had this one clip blood. that I was sitting on for a long time on Behemoth because I was like trying to wiggle it in the right way. I still haven't, but he just like talks about killing Justin Trudeau for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even a Canadian, dude. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is oh, fucking, this is so good. <laughs> Hold on, Max. Are you telling me you have to be a citizen of the country for the leader you're trying to assassinate? Go on. I mean, <laughs> it, helps, genuinely grow up. it helps idealistically, you know? Like, it's, nah. unless you got beef with them, dude. You know How do you think World War One I started? Like I don't Serbian... believe in World War One, dude. I don't know. What the fuck is that? Dude, we got World War Three coming soon, apparently. What if we get drafted? Oh, yeah. They've Real, been edging I'm, us on that for look, so if long. Look, if you're 28 or older, you escape the draft. So I think we're all Hell chilling. yeah, brother. I, think oh, we're all I don't even yeah, have dude. to fake mental illness now. I mean, <laughs> it's not if, fake. If we, if we were like a squad, if we went in there, like who's dying Dude. first, you think? Me for sure. Who dies first? <laughs> Who dies first? No. Bro, we go in. I'm trying tasty. Be, I would, I, no, no, no. I would hide for a really long time. I'm, I'm baiting for <laughs> you. I'm, can't I'm, do I'm baiting that. as can long as hide, I can. Bro, the fuck? Yeah, yeah that's team. a fuck I can. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. You're dying first. We're going to kill you for hiding, bro. You fucking I'm going to be a deserter, dude. I'm dying for your country. What the fuck, man? I'm going to get some dessert. That sounds good. I wouldn't die for anything, dude. Maybe Starbucks and Wi-Fi, but that's it, bro. You think they blew a Michelin star restaurant up over here anywhere close? There's a lot of debris. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know if Cobble has a Michi? Like, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, 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 um, all right, go okay. on, to Papa. So on. I have three. Sorry. I have three tweets. Are we ready? Three. <laughs> you remind me of a cigarette because I want to get you lit and shove your butt in my mouth. That's old. I've heard that. I tweeted that like three years ago. That's a really? Facebook meme. That's a Facebook yeah. meme. Uh, that's yeah. a Facebook right, meme. You ready? <laughs> Call me Dizana the way I make her legs quiver. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Ah, That's not bad. Okay. Like someone that. someone well, also DM me that. Was it did someone DM you that? Someone DM me that. Uh, <laughs> he's, looking, he's a serial liar, bro. Someone definitely DM me. It was that. either a DM yeah. or a Twitch chat. Or I came Most... up with it. I don't remember. No, no, oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Let me tell you, I never come up uh, with these. These are all taken from someone else's chat or a DM uh, or my chat yeah, or dude. something. Yeah. All right, here's yeah. the here's the one I liked. Uh, th this is the one I liked. It is way harder to tob and rechat than it is to drink and drive. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's pretty true. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I, I just don't know if it'll pop off though. Like it, I, I think it's objectively that that one's funny. That's the funniest to me. But you don't um, even stream anymore. What are you talking about? Hey, dude, I'm just gonna do the I, cigarette one. Tasty did it three years ago. It was probably good three yeah, years no, ago. Yeah, no, honestly, dude, that's... I do the quiver. The quiver sounds better. I don't know. I feel like that gets. I, okay, listen. If you, I thought maybe that one's better. But as far as like, look, the I'm interaction real, goes, all of them, all of them are gonna tank. So you post whatever the fuck you want. Dude, Thank you, know? you. That's actually that's all I need to hear, bro. <laughs> you post whatever the fuck you want. Dude. Thank you. I mean, he does uh, have the most successful Twitter. So let me listen to him. 
Oh. Uh, every single like, I got this a, I is, got a couple. Sorry, huh? this is like legit. Every single time, all the time, people come up and they shit talk your guys' tweets to me all the time. Like every it's every like, week. This is you being it's a like serial liar talk, again. Like no, me no, when, no. This one I'm being Seth's in the rain. Name three people who've done that. 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 Name three. You guys are Name three people who've done that. 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 We can go back and look at the extreme inconsistencies. Three people. Three people who've done that. I just. Anyway, I've got a couple tweets. Was that one? No. What? Oh, I was um, waiting for T Papa to give three people. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I've got a couple tweets. T Papa, no chance. Quiet. <laughs> um, the we could. These might be actual workshops. I'd love some feedback on these ones. Um, the only time I turn my back on the homies is reverse cowgirl. Someone. Just say four back shots. That. Why are someone, reverse cowgirl? Someone shouted that the other day. I, that's that. my favorite position with the homies. Is that where did you get that from? I saw that somewhere. I think it's a tweak on something I saw on like TikTok. I think <sighs> someone said that in a chat somewhere, but that's good. It's not bad. <clears throat> okay, and then the next one. No, babe, you're still cute. It's just that your five dollar bill rolling itself back up surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the one. That's way better than the last one. That's way better than the last one, dude. Yeah. Can you say that one one more time? (laughs) (laughs) I said, no, babe, you're still cute. It's just that your $5 bill rolling itself back up surprised me. Dude, it's fucking fire, dude. (laughs) It's a good one, dude. It's a good one, dude. dude. (laughs) At least you get it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Let me have that one if you're not tweeting it. That's a good one. I'm going to tweet that one. All right. It's a cocaine joke. It's a $5 (laughs) bill, and it gets stuck like that. So if you, like, unfold it and put it down, I just look around, and I have all these just, like, half-rolled bills everywhere. Whoa, too far. What is that? (laughs) No, I'm just... It's the one, dude. It's the one that whale drew on. Oh, it's the whale dollar bill. Hell yeah! It has. It's rolled up because I have a Where's circular the wallet. <laughs> Bro, that thing's about to rip in the middle. That's My close. wallet is a tube. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dude, even your cat looks disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, prison. Let's hear the prison Joe tweets. These better be the best fucking tweets I've ever heard in my life. I swear, dude. Let's hear them. Come on. (laughs) My tweet is name three people, buddy. (laughs) Name three people. That's my tweet tonight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Go on and go. What do you got? No, I don't have one. (laughs) So cute. You mad, bro? You mad? Uh, No, I'm actually happy. Perfect. I don't have any no one good else got any this tweets? week. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you something mediocre that's just been in my drafts. But you know, <laughs> at least you acknowledge not it, man. Keen Thanks. About it, but we'll see. Appreciate you. I feel like I've been on really this planet this for three decades. If you think I haven't jerked off to anime women at least once, you are sorely mistaken. That's definitely the worst one than I. No, I send sure. that one out. No, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fucking. A good one. That that's out. fucking <laughs> you, bro. That one was he. <laughs> he's just trying to outperform me, bro. It's a competition to him, dude. That's, I feel that's like this is worse. Tweet, like, that's see, Papa worse. telling me it's a good tweet, like, makes me like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> bro, bro, I just like, this is so good. We flame me, and then we just get to this. This is good. <laughs> uh, I have, I was trying to workshop something about uh, an album title named Canceled by Association then involved Ignoble, but I couldn't figure something out how to make it work. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm like scared now because there are people in the section like legitimately getting canceled, a la you know certain. Well, that was the thing I was talking months. about it, and I was like, and someone, someone said, "Canceled by Association" going to be the best album of 2024, and they put your name in it somehow, but I don't remember how they said it. It was really funny. Me? That was going to be my, that was going to be my, yeah, I was going to be my tweet this week, but I couldn't remember exactly how it was worded, and I couldn't word it myself. Uh, but dude, I'm nothing. scared that there might be like people who are just like, dude. That guy's definitely a predator and should be. That'd be an insane canceled, like diss album though, you know? If you got canceled, then when then we did. If we had like RuneScape beef and people would start dropping diss tracks in here, just like the you know the rap beef is going on, like some of you might know of a man named um, Aubrey Graham, and 
I forget who the others are. Dude, he was spitting on that diss track, actually. That was kind of hard. I mean, I was surprised. Were you surprised by that? I was very surprised. He kind of went in. His Ghost Riders went fucking hard. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, he delivered. For real. How do you have anything? RuneScape beef is it's too real. Like, people just, like, do, like, crimes. It's too small. And it's like, oh, that's not beef. That's, like, it's either too small or it's too big. And it's like, oh, okay. You're have a we, like, had an actual... We need, like, a happy medium. We really do. You're yeah, because right. I feel like in the RuneScape sections, yeah, it's like you said. It's always, like, predatory, like, terrible. Just, like, the fucking complete, like, fringe, awful behavior. There's not, like, actual, like, hey, I don't like you. Hey, I don't like you either. Let's fight. Like, have you ever seen yeah. that recently at all? Like, I haven't even seen yeah. that. No, either, yeah, it's like a sexual predator and your life is over, or you say a slur and people agree with you. Like, those are the two options. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's no, yeah, there's no, like, You have Jebrim defending you, dude. You're like, let's hear all the evidence. It's like, what the fuck, Jebrim? <laughs> <laughs> dude, if Jebrim ever came to my defense... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over. I'd be like, it's, it's oh, over. Yeah, I'm changing my opinion, I guess. Especially <laughs> like, you, because oh, you're like, oh, you didn't have beef with him, but he like he picked at you, and you picked at him. But like, no, I uh, so. I started beef with him uh, because Ooh. I was making this video. That about, shit was like, so the, funny, dude. Oh, it was funny. The so lowest, funny. lowest, and in, the least installed plugins on the Runelight plugin hub, and I, and his came up because he had just by coincidence just released it, and uh, he had a one of his plugins was a prop hunt plugin. And I was like, you motherfucker. As a joke. So I made this whole bit in the video where I challenged him to a duel. Um, and then I said, uh, you can bring weapons, but I'm bringing gay people because I know how afraid of them you are. He got <laughs> real mad. <laughs> he got so really good. mad about that. Oh, my God. He uh, So he would like, he's like going at me on Twitter in my YouTube comments. He uh, sent me the longest manifesto I've ever seen in my message requests on discord, uh, just unhinged shit. Uh, and then, uh, on the Patreon podcast, <laughs> uh, dude, I don't, does, does discord keep message requests if you ignore them? Yeah, that's, can we add that? Can we add Jebrin, uh, Jebrin yeah. archives also on the Patreon? Also, can we talk about the Patreon? Can we talk about Hoodie Guy? That was a funny development in the last few days. The $180 Hoodie Guy? That's a good topic. That's a, fun, oh, that's a funny oh, one. Yeah, that's Let's talk about wild. him. We can talk wild. about $180 Hoodie Guy as well on the Patreon. That'll be it. That's, a, that's the first decent one we've thrown up today. But all this shit ones combined now, it's going to be a banger. Consider subscribing to the Patreon. Um, I don't take us out. Yeah, so... Uh... I'm going to read uh, the Jebrim message as a way that you guys just like can say whatever you want as an outro. In the background, I'll just be here just uh, saying some homophobic shit. So uh, let's do it. Don't skip. We have some news for you because we have recently reworked our entire podcast format. We will still be conducting one normal podcast a week. But now, Tier 1 patrons will have access to a weekly exclusive Patreon podcast that's going to be even more based and more after dark. We've also updated our other tiers to include perks that allow you to directly interact with the podcast and influence the topics that we speak about. The Patreon will be linked in the description below.